guys welcome back okay so today I am going to be playing around in some green eyeshadow because I have a palette that I meant to try out a long time ago it is from this beauty crop cocktail collection if you watched my last haul which was a little while ago you know I picked up this beauty crop cocktail kit booklet of eyeshadow palettes and I have used a couple of them but I have a couple more I need to use so the one that I'm using today is the mojito palette okay so this is what it looks like sorry about the glare can't help the ring lights you know it's the struggle of the uh, youtuber but this is what the inside looks like okay this palette all green okay now when I first saw this palette I was like oh that's pretty beautiful love it then I opened it today and it was like okay girl what you gonna do with that green palette <laughs> so of course we're doing a green look now you can pick up this whole cocktail set I will show you them just in case you haven't seen them but it is a set of four different palettes so these are the other three and like I said, they're from the Beauty Crop. This one is Pina Colada. And I did use this one. So I do have a video on this one already. This one is Strawberry Daiquiri. Very, very pink. Very, very pretty though. I did use this one as well. This one is Sangria. This glare is killing me. This one is Sangria. And it is basically a purple based palette so this one i have yet to use but today we're going to work with the mojito which is the green now you can get this whole set for about 73 dollars i think it's on sale or you can buy the individual palettes for 24 24 50 so the set is 73 50 individually they're 24 50 so that's what i'm doing today i think i'm doing a full face not sure if i'm doing it all on camera or not yet because those are a doozy to edit okay so I'm just slapping on some of my elf plumping lip gloss because my lips are mad dry right now and for serum right now I want to put on a serum because my face is freshly washed and everything and you know you have that you need to replenish your moisture and everything so for serum today, I'm using this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. So I'm going to use this today. And I figure since I'm going with glass, the glassy look, <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Touch and Soul. And this is the glassy uh, skin balm that I just got in my BoxyCharm the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and use those two together before I get started. So I'm probably just going to throw on some brows, pet prep my lids and then I will come back so we can get started with this mojito palette you know what I'll do some swatches when I come back it just feels so good now that serum is really really nice the peach and lily but this touch and soul glass skin I really like this stuff it feels so good mojito palette there are 12 shades in here their palettes always come with a variation of textures you get your mattes your shimmers your pressed glitters and then you also get like one of these funky 
I forget what they call it, but it's kind of like in between a shimmer and a glitter. It, they always give me trouble, so we're gonna see what happens today. But let me do some quick swatches and then we'll jump into this look. the swatches of the whole palette uh, I mean it swatches pretty nice it's not too bad but I don't know I'm just really not motivated today I could just be off today I don't know but as you can see they don't play around when it comes to their pressed glitters their glitters are absolutely gorgeous this blue shade here is really pretty this one is gorgeous as well um so yeah let's just jump right in Okay, so I think I'm gonna use tape today because I'm in the mood to get messy and I don't wanna have a lot of cleanup. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use some tape. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start out with the shade Muddy. And also, there's no mirror in these palettes if I didn't mention that before, but I'm gonna start out with this dark green matte shade Muddy. And I'm just going to place this in my crease and create my shape for this eye look. Okay, she pigmented. Yeah, she's nice. That color is pretty. Okay, so in the front portion, I want to use this color here which is Coaster. It's like a pretty blue-green shade. Okay, so those two colors blended in very nicely together. Now I wanna try and soften up the edge of that green. So I'm gonna go into the shade here, Garnish. It's like a lighter shade of green. <laughs> They're all shades of green. <laughs> oh, that's blending that out very nicely. I don't see any lines of demarcation from that dark green. And I did have a tacky base. I did not set my base with powder or anything. No, you guys lately I haven't even been wanting to use my cut crease canvas to cut my crease I've just been wanting to use the shimmer shades to cut my crease so I think that's what I'm going to do today um I want to go into this dark shade here it's like a satin I don't know if you can see that but it is a satin shadow and I'm going to use that in the outer portion of my lid space and I'm gonna spray my brush just to see how it performs wet. Okay, so yes, that is very pigmented. <laughs> very pigmented, I'm not mad at it. So I'm just gonna place that right there in that corner. And just keep the shape for this look okay so next to that I want to go into cool which is this shade here it's kind of like a blue green satin spraying my brush and just placing it right next to that darker shade Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and to brighten things up, 
I'm going to go into this top shade here, which is white rum. So it's a really, really light green shimmer. Today. So I'm going to add a little bit of black liquid liner and I think I'm gonna do my complexion off camera today so this video won't be too long and then we'll come back and finish up these eyes. Okay you guys so now that my complexion is done I want to go ahead and finish up these eyes so I want to go ahead and place a little bit of black eyeliner on my lower lash line. This is my Milani Stay Put Liner. So just a little bit. So for my lower lash line to smoke it out a bit, I'm gonna go back into this dark, dark green that I started out with in the very beginning, which is the shade Muddy. Take a small, dense brush and just run that on my lower lash line. Now before I go in with my mascara, I want to use one of these Stila Glitter Liquid Eyeshadows. Now this one was a special gift given to me by my girl Lily from Lily Living Life. If you haven't watched her channel, check her out, okay? But we were shopping in Vegas when we were on our little girls trip and she bought this for me. So I wanna go ahead and use this. I said since I'm using green, I wanna check this out. Now, let me see what shade, what color this is. So it just says Diamond Dust. So I guess that's the shade, Diamond Dust. So pretty. You see how pretty that is? Ah, oh, gorgeous. Okay, so as usual, things have gotten a little out of hand. <laughs> I love it though. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so pretty. So pretty. Love this stuff. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> okay, time for mascara. I'm just going to go in with some of my The Balm Mad Lash Mascara. So even though I have a really bold green eye look today, I do want to do a bold lip. But before I jump into the lips to finish up this video, um, I just want to give you my first impression thoughts on this Mojito palette. Um, the shadows are consistent with the other palettes that I have used from Beauty Crop. I am getting familiar with them. Um, these worked amazing today. I mean, you saw how they went on, how they blended out. I mean, the satins are really, really nice as well. I didn't even have to cut my crease prior to using the shimmers because they just showed up, popped, had the pigmentation, and glided on. So I would say this is a very, very nice palette if you're interested in it. I didn't go into the glitter. I wasn't in the mood for that today. I wanted to play with my little Stila, <laughs> so that's what I did. But this glitter shade is gorgeous. You saw it in the swatch, it's beautiful. So first impression, I like this palette. I think it's a nice palette. I didn't have any issues creating this eye look and I think it is a pretty bold, intricate look. So now let's jump into these lips. I have a couple of lipsticks that I got from Juvia's Place. One is just a regular matte lip, I think, and the other one is a metallic. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put one on top of the other, I don't know. But I wanna try out this lipstick. It might look crazy with this green eye, but y'all know me, I'm not afraid of color, so let's just jump right in. I'm gonna line my lips with one of my Kiss Professional Lip Liners. It's just a purple lip liner that I got from the Beauty Supply. Okay, so both of these lipsticks which came in a kit have the same name, which is Madam. I always wanna say Madame, but it's Madam. And one is a matte and one is a metallic. So I'm going to put the matte down. Very 
comfortable. Oh, that color is pretty. I don't really think I needed a lip liner for this lipstick. I mean, this applicator is very nice, very, you know, precise. If it's crooked, it's because my lips are crooked. <laughs> Not because of the applicator. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the metallic on top. Although this matte lip is nice. Okay, very cute. Y'all, just excuse my hair, okay? It just, it does whatever it wants to do, so I let it be, okay? So, yeah. Let me try a little bit of this metallic. It feels so nice going on. Oh, that's pretty. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I like this color. This is really, really pretty. Very comfortable, and the metallic is not like that crazy, wild, aluminum-looking metallic. It's just like a mild little metallic okay and I am at it with this green eye okay very cute so anyways enough of me jaw jacking y'all this is the look <laughs> this is it okay um I like this palette I don't have too much more to say about it I like it you guys saw it it didn't swatch amazingly but it performed very nicely okay so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me to try out this beauty crop mojito palette this juvia's lipstick and let me know what y'all think about the complexion i'm still loving that becca primer okay it just it just feels like it makes my foundation just sit right and sit tight okay so i'm loving it anyways that's it you guys i will see you on my next video toodles